Hi, it's Katrina. Have you ever stumbled upon something you couldn't identify no matter how closely you examined it? You're not alone. From creepy teeth to feather balls, here are 10 mysterious things with weird explanations from the internet. Number 10. Terrifying Teeth Last year, images of what appeared to be a jaw with four large, knife-like teeth appeared on Reddit's What Is This Thing thread. Do you know what it is? It seemed like teeth, at least, that were unusually shaped with weird spacing, each with parallel grooves on the back side. If these were teeth, who the heck did they belong to? Users quickly piped in and solved the mystery. The lucky poster had found pharyngeal grass carp teeth. Tim Smith of the Missouri Department of Conservation also helped a curious finder identify a similar set of bones by consulting biologists from the agency's fisheries division, who immediately knew what they were. The grass carp is native to the coastal rivers of Siberia and China. Its genus name is Greek for comb-like throat teeth, owing to its pharyngeal teeth. These teeth are common in many types of fish, including goldfish, and are located farther back. This fish is the largest member of the minnow family, typically growing up to 4 feet long and reaching between 65 and 80 pounds in its native habitat, and sometimes reaching as much as 100 pounds. Grass carp have been widely introduced in non-native habitats throughout North America, including the Mississippi, Missouri, and St. Francis rivers, and in many privately owned ponds for vegetation control. Adults are known to consume more than their own body weight in vegetation daily. That's why it has such large and strange-looking teeth for chewing and grinding up the massive amounts of food it eats. Number 9. Monkey Slug What the heck is this? Sometimes mistaken for a hairy spider or some crumpled up leaves, this is actually a caterpillar. They are furry with six hairy arms that curl out from each side of its body. As it wanders around, it is very curious to watch, but honestly, it is also extremely creepy. This caterpillar transforms into the hag moth. It can be found throughout North America, commonly seen as far north as Maine and Quebec, and as far south as Arkansas and Mississippi, and westward to Nebraska. There is nothing particularly spectacular about an adult hag moth's appearance. Like many moth species, a fully grown specimen is relatively small, with an average wingspan of 1.2 inches. Males have translucent wings, while females are a drab brown color. It is just their caterpillar or larva stage where they can truly shine. In fact, they are so bizarre in appearance they have their own special name, monkey slugs. This furry, crawly creature can actually lose its arms if necessary without harming the larva. As creepy looking as they are, these creatures, both hag moths and monkey slugs, are generally harmless and do not pose any significant agricultural threats, although they do enjoy frequenting orchards. The hairs of the caterpillar apparently don't sting, but if I were you, I still wouldn't touch it, just in case. Number 8. Peculiar Pouches When Reddit user Slab Amberson found tiny multicolored pouches on the hood of their truck in the parking lot of a local park, they looked to the What Is This Thing thread for answers. The pouches seemed to be filled with herbs. It smells like potpourri, they wrote, also mentioning later on in the comment thread that they were tied together with a white string. It turns out that the pouches are something called prayer ties, which are pouches full of tobacco and sometimes other herbs. According to Native American tradition, prayer ties are offered to the Great Spirit in exchange for blessings or healing. They are especially important to the Lakota, Seminole, and Cherokee people, among others. While Redditors helped figure out what the colorful pouches on the hood of Slab Amberson's truck were and provided some useful links for reference, why they were left there remains up for debate. I'm just still confused why it was left on my truck when that page says to leave it somewhere sacred and important to you," they commented. That part of the mystery remains unsolved. Perhaps it was just a well-wisher paying it forward by sending good blessings onto a stranger. Hey, I would take that. And now for number 7. But first, big shout out to Salesh Pradhan who is new to this channel, and Suna Grimmel. Thanks guys! If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join us! Number 7. Mysterious Truck Reddit user Eli Liam posted a photograph of a large, unmarked blue Mercedes-Benz truck decked out in a cab and fog lights and with a ladder and a white circle on the side parked in front of a house and a mountain. Many who responded speculated that the image wasn't even real and that it was from a video game or a movie scene. One commenter speculated that at the very least it was a professional photograph. 
It was too pristine looking, Reddit user Hossley chimed in. Not just the vehicle, but the shadows, background, and everything looked CGI. Meanwhile, some people defended what they believed was the photo's authenticity. Looks real to me, never seen a game where they put tire marks on the curbs and utility covers in the yard, wrote Deuterino18. User Randy Marsh 77 cleared up at least some of the confusion by identifying the scenery in the background as Utah's Mount Timpanogos. Instead of participating in the back and forth about whether or not the image was taken by an amateur or a professional photographer, or whether it was even real, a few users identified this strange truck as a vehicle that actually exists, called a Mercedes Unimog. They are used as commercial trucks, rally racers, race support vehicles, military vehicles, etc., explained Wanderer67. This one looks like it may be set up as an overland camper or possibly a race support rig. The white spot may be for a racer number if it's a support truck. A user by the name Mac the Bearded, who claims they once built Unimogs into overland and rally rigs for a living, further elaborated that while the truck looks pretty neat and is indeed very tough, the model is actually a pain to own because when something breaks, expensive specialty replacement parts must be ordered direct from overseas and take weeks to arrive. Plus, in his opinion, the Unimog's design and engineering were done hastily and are therefore flawed. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Strange Stone Carving Several months ago, a Reddit user from outside Philadelphia found a pointed stone slab underneath a fallen tree. It had a geometric symbol on one side and the year 1777 carved into the other. There was also a circular hole on the side of the stone. The general consensus quickly added up to the item being a grave marker of some sort. But the questions of why there was no writing on it, identifying who it belonged to, and why it was found laying flat on the ground quickly came up. While it's always possible that the stone fell over, especially if it had been there for over two centuries, some users also pointed out that some grave markers lie flat. One user presented the possibility that the stone was a grave marker belonging to a Pennsylvanian German, as they were known to use similar symbols. Others suggested that the slab is a keystone, which is the wedge-shaped stone at the top of an arc. Additional suggestions include that the stone somehow marked a road, territory, or property boundary that it had something to do with the British capturing Philadelphia around 1777, or that it was perhaps a plaque marking a long-lost building's fire insurance coverage. While the quandary is marked as solved on Reddit's What Is This Thing thread, it seems as though the mystery was not necessarily definitely solved. What do you think the strange slab is? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Blue Gunk Burger In July 2019, Reddit user Oak Toast posted a photo of a McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese as well as a crumbly blue substance that they described as having a chemical flavored taste. Naturally, they took to the what is this thing thread to try figuring out what was the alarming mystery substance that they had unintentionally ingested. In their description of the disturbing incident, Oak Toast explained that they bit into the sandwich before realizing that about half the burger patty was covered in blue gunk. This poor diner was so sickened by the situation, they reportedly vomited shortly after, but possibly just due to the thought of consuming something disgusting like this. The post sparked a puzzling debate about what the substance could possibly be. It looks like it may be a grill cleaning sponge, one user commented. That looks more like the heavy blue bags that they ship meat in, someone else said. Several users claiming to be former McDonald's employees remarked that the material strongly resembled the blue gloves the fast food chain's workers wear while handling meat. Others were repulsed by the mere fact that, in their opinion, whoever prepared the burger must have noticed that something was wrong with it. It's unknown whether the unfortunate customer who bought the sandwich filed a formal complaint or if the issue was ever resolved. Number 4. Weird Structure in the Forest Sometime last year, someone discovered a cylindrical stone structure in a forest in southern Germany and sought help identifying it from fellow Redditors. The small capsule, which was about six and a half feet tall and had the year 1948 on the side, looked big enough to fit one or two people and had a door on the outside. While this would certainly be a shocking sight to happen upon during a leisurely stroll through the woods, the structure was quickly identified as something called a splitter schutzel, or a splinter protection cell, also called a one-man bunker, single shelter, fire guard booth, or air defense office. You take your pick. These strange buildings, which are usually cylindrical but are occasionally square-shaped, are made of reinforced concrete and are designed to hold up to two people. They were first designed and built during the Second World War for the German military and were primarily used for protection against splinters and other debris from explosions. 
As tough as Splitter Schutzels look, however, they were not engineered to sustain direct hits. And while the one discovered by the perplexed Reddit user was built in 1948, after World War II, one commenter argued that it still makes sense as the Cold War was just heating up around this time. On the other hand, another user by the name of Under Pressure VS pointed out that the construction of these structures was explicitly banned following World War II, that it's odd for one to appear in the forest, and that 1948 was a tad early for the appearance of Cold War-related items. While the mystery of what the structure is was solved, why it was there, who put it there, and the year plastered on the side present more questions than answers. Number 3. Metal Detector Mystery while testing out their brand new metal detector one day in East Hampton, Connecticut, Reddit user FJ Cruzin found a rusty metal ring reading 1489 NY and NERR. It looked pretty old, and as it turned out, it was. Users noticed pretty quickly that the item had something to do with the New York and New England Railroad, hence the NY and NERR inscription. Metal luggage tags began being replaced with paper ones starting in the early 20th century, and this particular rail company only existed until the late 1800s, making the object well over a century old. But what was it? Suggestions included that maybe it had something to do with a post or a railroad tie, and these guesses were close. The item is an old baggage tag. They came in pairs, with one being attached to a passenger's luggage and the passenger retaining the other, making it easier to retrieve their baggage and for railway workers to prevent, find, and identify lost baggage. This system proved so efficient it's still in use today, except with paper tags rather than metal ones. And while it may seem like it would be relatively easy to come across an old metal luggage tag, most were turned into scrap metal as railroads switched to paper tagging systems, making FJ Cruzin's discovery a rare find indeed. Number 2. Turtle Human While vacationing in Japan, a tourist who doesn't know how to read Japanese stumbled upon a bizarre display that more or less looked like a drawing of a human man drowning in an oversized ribcage with his arms in the air. The only English words on the sign read how to make a turtle human. The topic in question appeared on Reddit's WTF Japan thread and on various other websites, including Board Panda, which explained that Japanese artist Satoshi Kawasaki created a book containing this strange illustration and others about what people would look like if they possessed the skeletal structures of certain animals, including turtles. In fact, the turtle drawing was upvoted as the number one best illustration out of Kawasaki's book on Board Panda. Other drawings include a human horse, flamingo, penguin, rabbit, elephant, and humans with a variety of front limbs adapted for diverse environments like wings, claws, and hooves. This might seem like a rather far-flung concept to anyone who's unfamiliar with Kawasaki's work, but the artist has a reputation for being imaginative and a tad on the eccentric side making this project right up his alley. Number 1. Weird Feather Ball Around three months ago, Reddit user DFB Jam posted a photograph of a perfectly round ball of feathers on the bird-watching thread, which they spotted in a field near their home. Other similar objects have appeared on Reddit's What Is This Thing thread. So what is it then? The short version of the answer to that burning question is that it's bird barf. It's something a predatory bird spat out. More specifically, before a predatory bird, such as a hawk, eats another bird, they sometimes strip it of its feathers. They do this by using their beak to yank swaths of feathers off from the bird's breast, according to Reddit user Kazzy Flies, who helped solve the mystery. In doing so, the predator often pulls skin off of its prey as well, and discards the whole mess wherever it happens to be preparing its meal. Sometimes the skin underneath the feathers curls inward and forms into a ball, resulting in a feather ball that looks too perfectly round to be from the natural world, despite being made of natural materials. This also explains why some disgusted yet confused answer seekers describe finding a foul substance on the inside of the ball. It's the prey's rotting skin. You're welcome. Thanks for watching! If you'd like to learn more about strange objects with weird explanations, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!